Take that, arsonists. We are live here on Fox Square for a reason. As you know, yesterday a cowardly Christmas creep burned down our all-American Christmas tree. We put the tree up outside of our building, not for ourselves, but for all of you. The NYPD and the FDNY arrived at the scene quickly to put out the flames and made sure everyone was safe. At a time when law enforcement is constantly criticized and disrespected, we are once again shown how important their work really is, and we're grateful for their service. Yeah. 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 Yep. We want to take this moment now to give a special shout out to the officers and quick, who quickly apprehended the suspect. They are actually here tonight to join us in the relighting. We're also joined by members of the FDNY. I speak for everyone here when I say thank you for all your sacrifices to keep us safe. And even though the arsonist is already out on the streets, probably working at CNN, we want the bad guys to know that you can keep burning down our trees because we're just going to keep putting up another one. Because that's the real holiday spirit. Jesse. All right. Thanks, Craig. Fox wanted to create a space where people from all over could come together without fear and celebrate this joyous holiday season. Because when you take away all the parties and all the presents and all the decorations, what really matters? What are we left with? The answer is simple. Look around you. It's the people that truly make this time of year special. And when our beautiful tree was burnt down by a repeat offender arsonist, we knew that we couldn't let it stop us. We knew that we wouldn't be deterred, and we were determined to rebuild. So memories could once again be made right here on Fox Square. Yeah. And, and yeah. rebuild we did in record time. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Tonight, as we relight the All-American Christmas tree, we are joined by Fox News talent and executives, along with members of the NYPD and the FDNY, Timothy Cardinal Dolan, FDNY Chaplain Rabbi Joseph Potasnik, and Fox News contributor Reverend Jacques DeGraff are also here and will share remarks in a moment. We are so grateful for the overwhelming support from our viewers, corporate colleagues right here in Midtown Manhattan, and our fellow Fox employees. Thanks to the hard work of so many, including the American Christmas Company, we are now standing in front of a brand new tree. Yeah. Yes, that's right. This holiday season serves as a reminder that at the end of the day, there will always be more that unites us than divides us. And before we light this new tree as a silver lining and an act of kindness during the holiday season, both Fox News Media and Fox Corporation have made a $100,000 donation to answer the call, which provides financial assistance to the families of fallen service members of the NYPD and FDNY, the two agencies who responded immediately to our very own emergency. So thank you to Fox Woo! for doing that indeed. Woo! I mean, it's amazing we can be here. It, n nobody stopped working for the last 36 hours to make this happen. Yep. Yeah, Fox really knows how to bounce back, don't we? Yeah! <laughs> I, think, I think we've got to thank Dana and the fellow elves. Yes, you're welcome. You're welcome. Build back putting better. Putting up that tree. Build yeah. back better the yeah. Christmas tree. This yeah. actually you're, works. You're not that much shorter than she is, Greg. <laughs> I am in heels, though, in his defense. Yes. Uh, so am I, at, by the way. <laughs> you will be later. No, but seriously, thanks to all the technical staff and the producers of The Five. You guys did a great job, and it's a real honor to host this relighting. And we're just very also thankful for the security team that tackled this punk and yeah. the... <laughs> Firefighters who put out the blaze very, very quickly, and the police that showed up immediately. Thank you guys very much. Yeah, thank you. And thank you to all of you for coming out. There are a lot of people yes. here, so welcome to Fox Square. What do you think, Janine? I think, I think it's great, and here's the bottom line. We are united in enjoying this Christmas holiday together, and we won't give up. It doesn't matter what they do to us. There you go. There you go. Indeed. All right. We now want to welcome our first guest of the evening, Fox News contributor, Reverend Jacques Dugraff. Somebody asked me, why are you here? I'm here because these colors don't run. <laughs> Eighty years ago this week, uh, they tried to extinguish the darkness at a place called Pearl Harbor. We didn't fold then 
and we won't fall now because we've come this far by faith. In our tradition, we say, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. The red, the white, the blue, and the light of America, we're going to let it shine. And so we go to the throne of grace together. Our Father and our God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we come before your throne as humbly as we know how to say, thank you. We remember the reason for the season and our faith. We have a faith that the fire could not incinerate. We have a faith that bullies cannot frighten away. We have a faith that madmen cannot terrorize us on. We come to say thank you and Merry Christmas. We ask that you would bless the greatest country on the planet. We ask that you would keep us and bless us. And God bless America. And together, the best is yet to come. And the men and the women who love God said, Amen. And the men and the women who love God said, Amen. And the men and the women who love God said, Amen. Way to go. I dig it. Thank you, Reverend. Also with us today is FDNY Chaplain Rabbi Joseph Potasnik. Thank you. I'm here, Your Eminence, Reverend, I'm here for diversity. I want to say to everyone here, the words united and untied are spelled with the exact same letters. We're here to stand together because we live in the United States of America, not the untied states of America. I said to uh, Frank Siller of the Siller Foundation, Tunnel to Towers, shortly after 9-11, we observed Hanukkah and Christmas at Ground Zero. The Christmas tree arrived 20 feet high. The Hanukkah menorah arrived nine feet high. A group of carpenters, all of whom were Christian, volunteered to build a platform so that the Hanukkah menorah and the Christmas tree would be of the exact same height. We, we live in a country where Hanukkah and Christmas can stand together as equal partners. And I'm here to say that an act against Christianity is an act against Judaism. Yeah. We are united. We are yeah. not untied. Yeah. Amen. So you have Christmas, we have Hanukkah. You have Easter, we have Passover. Yeah. Together, united, we have Thanksgiving. We are thankful that we live in a country where we can believe in different faiths, but we can belong to one family. Amen. 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 Thank you, Rabbi. And now we welcome Timothy Dolan, the Cardinal. Cardinal Timothy Dolan. Folks, I, I got the high honor, an honor for which I'm very grateful of blessing the new tree. So you ready? Let us pray. Lord our God, we praise you for the light of creation, the sun, the moon, and the stars of the night. We praise you for the light of Israel, mm -hmm. the law, the prophets, and the wisdom of the scriptures. We praise you for Jesus Christ, your son. Yes. He is Emmanuel, God with us, the Prince of Peace, who fills us with the wonder of your love. Lord our God, let your blessing come upon us as we soon illumine this tree May the light and cheer it gives be a sign of the joy that fills our hearts. May all who delight in his tree come to the knowledge and joy of salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed Amen. Christmas. All right? Amen. There you go. Thank you, Cardinal Dolan. Jesse? All right, so let's go talk to some people here. Cardinal. Uh -oh. I haven't seen you since confession. <laughs> <laughs> that was on fire. <laughs> so what is the symbolism, in your opinion, of a relighting of a Christmas tree here? Look, the purpose of this season is that light always conquers darkness. There's going to be setbacks. We saw that in the petty act of an unfortunate fellow who did this. But we don't let that stop us. God's way, God's providence always triumphs. Light conquers darkness, that's Hanukkah, that's Christmas, hallelujah. We need a little Christmas right this very moment. All right, hallelujah, and uh, after this, can we baptize Gutfeld? I, 
I am up. baptized. Bring him up. Only if we can use eggnog. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Steve Ducey, I know you have to get to bed soon, so we'll make this quick. Your thoughts on the ceremony? It's very nice. I'm glad everybody was able to come out tonight. Thank you very much for showing up at Fox Square tonight. We're not going to let one guy with a lighter ruin Christmas. Yeah. Ainsley, back up in 24 hours. What a miracle. I'm just so happy to be here. I'm so glad that we're building it back and that so many people have turned out when I pulled up tonight. I was just in awe of all of our fans and people who have come from all parts of the United States and all over the world to come and celebrate this night with us. And you're right, we're not gonna let a Grinch steal our Christmas. Yeah. We're back, we're better than ever. And God bless all of you. God bless. I think this crowd is bigger than the crowd at the Rockefeller tree. Yeah. Do we have that right? All right. It's a better looking crowd. <laughs> because you're here, Greg. Absolutely. All right. So, Abby, take two, right? You guys did a great job <laughs> last week with the light. We're just going to do it again. Yeah, I was saying earlier, it's such a blessing to be here because, you know, it's rare that all of us get to be together because everyone has different schedules, right? I think we should take the Fox News Christmas card tonight in front of the tree. Um, but yeah, I mean, this guy lit the tree on fire, but he reignited the light in every single one of us as we celebrate the holiday season. So it's great to be here. And again, we're thankful to all of you guys back here and everyone who showed up tonight. All right. And we're... The number one number recording one artist song. in America is here. Uh, oh, <laughs> Mike Rowe. And Mike's, Mike's going to be joining us on the five after this. But he wants more attention. Would you like to say anything with your beautiful voice, Mike? You're too kind, Jesse. But look, I was out here last night around uh, 1230. I don't know where you were, but you should have seen the men with power washers and welders working. It was freezing cold. Talk about a dirty job. Those guys got it done right, and they got it done first. Well said. Ask him about the song he sang on Fox and Friends yesterday. Uh, you know, uh, I'll, do, I'll, do, I'll do the emceeing here, Ducey. This isn't Fox and Friends. All right, let's talk to one of these guys, the chief here. First of all, chief, thank you so much. The response time was phenomenal. How did you guys do it so quickly? Well, well, thanks for having us, and thanks for acknowledging the good work that the FDNY and the men and women of the NYPD do day in and day out yeah. to protect the citizens of this great city. Thank you so much, and no injuries. Everybody's here looking very festive, Janice. Any time that I can wear a hat, you know I'm going to do so. But can I also say on behalf of the FDNY family, I'm, I'm married to a, a battalion chief with the FDNY. Thank you to your service, of course, uh, to all the police officers here tonight. We're so grateful for your service. And we're grateful for your protection. And, and thank you all. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right. Are you guys ready to get this started? All right. Before we get to that, uh, FDNY Engine 65, who responded to the scene yesterday, was supposed to join us tonight, but can't be here because they're responding to another fire. <laughs> so, are you guys ready to light it up or what? Yeah! You're talking about the tree. We're talking about the tree, Greg. Are you so All right. bad? You are so bad. So, the Legal. We're going to push a button. The borough commander is here, so we're going to start it with a countdown. All right, here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Light! Oh! Yay! It's pretty good. It's beautiful. It's very nice. It is stunning. Yes.
here with all of you tonight, with all of the, any thoughts, Jessica and Judge? Well, first of all, I just think that the tree is beautiful. I'm thrilled that it's back up. And you know what? We are as happy as we were two days ago, and we're not going to let anyone dampen our spirits. And Jessica's here. She, her due date is six days from now, and so there's going to be a wonderful Christmas baby this so year. This is like my Christmas. This is and her Christmas. It was great to hear the story also about lifting the menorah on 9-11. Only one, was, one or two sets of presents. Yeah. <laughs> For the baby. Oh. Good and I'm, well, I'm going to have my first Christmas tree ever, actually. All right. That's Wait, indeed. That's also, exciting. I just think that if we could all just do a round of applause for our CEO, Suzanne Scott, who yeah. led us in Woo. this, and Jay Wallace, president of news. Thank you so much. And for everyone who helped make this happen. It's a very good-looking tree. Yeah. Please enjoy some hot chocolate from Jacques Torres. We appreciate you all coming out to see this happen. Another big thank you to everyone involved. The hardworking people helped get this done in record time the American Christmas Company and our lighting and technical crews, the religious leaders for their remarks. But not least, we once again want to thank the FDNY and the NYPD heroes. Thank you so much. Okay, Greg's cold, I'm so we cold. have to go inside. We're going to go back and do the rest of The Five. Stay tuned. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.